A big day for Hyperloop One. The tech company is one step closer to transporting passengers more than 700 miles an hour. And if you don't already know it, the test site is right in our backyard, North Las Vegas to be exact. Today, dozens of people gathered to see the system's first major test, and it was a success. 13 Action News reporter Michael Burton was in the front row. Michael. Ricky, I sure was, and guess what? Chopper 13 was fast and first, capturing how massive this project really is. The purpose of today's test was to make sure that the design of the track is ready for the electromagnetic push that it will have to support. And just take a look. We got about a four-second glimpse of the system in action. The sled accelerates to about 115 miles an hour before slamming into a sand pit. But the final project should be able to reach 400 miles an hour in two seconds, traveling so fast that it won't even need the track for a full trip, simply floating on air in a tube. Next few tests will be faster and farther until the final test in December in North Las Vegas using nearly two and a half miles of tube. All these systems uh, are being engineered and tested and um, to see this happen um, and to see our engineering team kind of get the credit for bringing this together, uh, it's a great step. As testing continues to grow in size, Hyperloop hopes to put one step closer to putting locals to work and the company hopes to have its first official Hyperloop operating by the year 2021. Ricky. All right, thank you, Michael.